Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom to all the righteous of Israel. As you can see, <laughs> this is the lion's den. Yes, this is it tonight. It is obviously, as you can see, a very, very special night. First and foremost, it's the Most High Shabbat right. that He has given to us from the beginning. Hallelujah. Yeah. And it is a delight. His Shabbat is a delight. And being here, you can see all of the brothers here tonight. It is a very, very special night. We're all here. I know my brother doesn't want me to say it, but I am. He knows I am. <laughs> Obviously, the Shabbat is here. However, we're here also for my brother. My brother who has done things in excellence since I've known him, he's always been that way. He was a brother that never, ever said too much. Really, never really said anything at all. But his work, as Michael Israel says, his footwork showed who he is. His footprint mm -hmm. from the start. We're all here for him um, this weekend as well. So it's definitely a special honor. This is, huh? Yes, sir. Coming a little bit yeah, over. Yeah. Coming a little bit over. Hallelujah. There we go. There he is. Hallelujah. As you can see, man, we're here on the land of Goshen, man. This is something that we dreamed about from the beginning. This is something we spoke about. Um, I had a conversation with the brothers this morning, man. Uh, Brother Rob, Brother Samuel, Brother Lee. We got to be here for Brother Rob. Right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. We are here. We here tonight and this weekend. Yes, sir. For yes, our faithful brother. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Ahead, absolutely. absolutely. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, man. We, we, we're the brothers. We spoke this morning. What time was it? Six, six o'clock. It's outside on uh, on the longest road here on the land, and we just had a conversation um, about what is getting, what is happening right now. Mm. This is something that we all spoke about when we first got here. Mm. Pastor Dow walked this land with us for a few for hours mm -hmm. when we first. It was a long time. When we first, it didn't look, it did not look the way it looks now. Hallelujah. It <laughs> didn't. It was straight wood line. It was straight up wood line. It looks really good now. Praise God. Really Hallelujah. Good. Praise God. And that's nothing but what the vision that the Most High has given our shepherd and our leaders. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, we've been doing an extraordinary amount of work. And that's not without the help of so many brothers in this ministry, the communities that have come out to help us and don't even say a word. They come in and they help. And they do it with such a good spirit. Straightway Florida is here, Brother Michael Israel. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Straightway Florida has been here all week laboring with us, man, and they ran that hill too. <laughs> they be getting it in. <laughs> they ran that hill. I'm telling you what, we got a brother here, Brother Darius, he set the bar. That brother looked at the bottom of that hill and ran full speed. 
Full speed wow. to the top of that hill, touched the gate, turned around and ran right back down. Like it was nothing. I won't ask how old he is. He's on a different level. He's on a different <laughs> level. He's on a different level. But I tell you what, man, it's just been a joy. Like I said, man, this is this is a, this is something we spoke about. And to see all of the leaders here, I told the brothers uh this week, I said, man, Shepard's been here. Elder Rufus has been here. This be Elder Mitchell's first time. Pastor Corey's been here. I said, man. But one person that I'm really excited about him coming to the land this week was Deacon Bell. It was Deacon Bell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To see our Deacon here, man, this has just been this this is this has just been a night. This has been a night. It's just been beautiful from top to bottom. Oh man. Um, a lot of conversation has went on tonight. Oh yeah, man, we was we was from subject to subject to subject, <laughs> all over the place. Mm. And we're gonna talk about something tonight that we've talked about in in in, in little phases here and there, you know, on, on lines. Then, but we're gonna talk about something tonight that might get you uncomfortable. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. you know, it, 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 it's gonna get you uncomfortable. It is what it is. But this I can guarantee. For those who have some type of fight in them, because here's the thing, this is the reason why I say some type of fight, because here's the truth, y'all know you're battling with something. Y'all know that you've been battling with things you've wanted to let go of your whole life, and you're wondering why you can't. Whatever it is for you, whatever it is for you, you know it's wrong and you don't want it. But guess what? No matter what the religion, no matter what it is, you've never had an answer. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not here to sell you nothing. We're going to tell you what the flat out ugly truth is. Because guess what? The answer that we're going to give you tonight, I can guarantee you this. Your Sunday pastors are not going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. They're not going to talk about this. Too scared. They're too scared, Shep. Mm -hmm. Not only are they not going to talk about this, but guess what else? What we're going to talk about tonight is going to put you out there because I'm pretty sure I can ask this question. How many brothers in this room with what we're going to speak about tonight has been in the position where you may be face down on a wall, snot all over yourself, throw up. We've seen pee. Yes, We've yeah. seen people farting. Yes, yeah. We've seen all type of stuff. But every single brother here can tell you, after it was over, they all felt lighter. Mm. They all cried out to the Father and gave Hallelujah. thanks for the freedom Hallelujah. and for the deliverance Hallelujah. that has happened with it. So this subject yeah. that we're going to talk about tonight is really, really one that you need to pay attention to. And if you humble yourself, because that's the key to all of this, if you will humble yourself, before the Father, and listen to his messengers, listen to his ambassadors, listen to the ones that he has chosen in this generation to speak the truth, to speak the master, the king, to speak Jesus the Christ. You'll be delivered as well. Hallelujah. So without further ado, this is one of them things I told Brother Samuel earlier. I said, <laughs> we're going to start talking and I'm going to take a seat back. Because there's a whole lot of wisdom in this room right now. A whole lot of wisdom. A whole lot of wisdom. So, if you're smart, you get your notepad. Because there's going to be some nuggets that you might want to write down. Um, we talked about a few things at the table, Shep. We did. How do we, how do we even get on this subject tonight? What are we um, talking about first? I think we talked about because of life experiences. Yes, sir. You know, uh, Many venues we've all been in, you know, different avenues, different approaches uh, in life. And then we had to come to the reality that there's something else going on besides us. Mm. There's something else going on besides the reality or the way the world wants to present. Because the world, they want to um, 
act like this is non-existence why it is existence in Hollywood. But when it comes to the church, I'm going to use church because, you know, we use assembly. Everybody adopts a hands-off attitude. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's real. Because if it wasn't so, the Messiah would have never spoke about it. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But he did speak about it. And he told us that he would equip us. And that's the one thing that the so-called pastors and ministers of today who say that they are ministers of Yahshua, they, ain't, they have never done. Mm -hmm. The real ones have equipped Yah's people mm -hmm. with the knowledge and understanding Come on, Shep. to be able to go forth in power and strength mm -hmm. to deliver his people mm -hmm. so we could continue on in his work. Come on, Shep. Come on. That, that's what's real. Yes, sir. You know, that you said, you said a whole lot there in a short time. And one thing that really stuck out to me, what you just said, is the Most High has shown us and then he has set people over to equip. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. To equip. I've been going to church my whole life. That's a long time. My whole life, Shep. My father spoke about this mm -hmm. to a degree, but when he spoke about it, a lot of the times what would happen is people would say things like, Oh, it's not always that. Mm. When he would speak about experiences he had with mm. getting rid of these wicked spirits, mm. they would say, oh, well, you know, everything is not always the devil. I've heard people tell him it's not a demon behind every bush. I'm here to tell you bullshit. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it I'm is. <laughs> because the word says you don't fight against flesh and blood. Say it again. You see, a lot of times we say these statements, but... Until you come around men who are truly living these statements, then you can understand, wait a minute. No, you're really not fighting against flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. So when you say that you are equipping, the Most High has shown men and then they equipped other men. That's mm -hmm. right. I'm sitting next to on my left, the only other shepherd in this ministry, the only other pastor in this ministry. And we can all attest that the Most High uses this man on another level as well. Mm -hmm. So where we're seeing demons cast out and people being healed on a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. So, Pastor Corey, when you hear Pastor Dow say that the Most High has shown men and then they equipped other men, you are a man that has been equipped in this generation that we live in, because I'm letting you know now, this generation that we live in is wicked. This is, a, this is on a whole nother level of wickedness. Mm -hmm. Whole nother level of wickedness. However, we see the power too mm -hmm. on a whole nother level mm -hmm. that is being orchestrated and being shown through the men of Yah. So you, Shepherd, being equipped in this generation, what does it do for you knowing that you humbled yourself and you sat under the tutelage and the teachings of a real man of Yah, and then to see the Most High use you in this generation to see people from all over being set free. Before you answer that question, every person here can attest to it. You know when it comes feast time, you know when it comes, even now when it's feast, you can pick up the phone and call Pastor Corey, and Pastor yeah. Corey will labor with you oh, yeah. at any time to see you being set free. Okay? What does that do for you, Chef? You know, uh, I, I'm just looking at this table right here. Ooh. And in, in looking at this table, Brother Dane, this is one thing I can say. I can look from this side to this side, and I know that these are men, this is what I'm saying, that have dedicated themselves, because this is different than Christianity. Mm. They fast, have huh? dedicated themselves to watch over the heritage Come on. of the Most High Come God. On. You see that? You see that? Come now, on. now what's, what's different about it? That's serious. What's Lord. different about it is Yah has already ordained men that was going to give their life over to doing a such thing. Because not everybody's going to dedicate and give their life. You're going to half-heartedly do it. And when you do it wholeheartedly, like Yah said, to, to worship him with what? All your heart. That's it. All your might. Yes, sir. All your soul. Come on. So then let's back up. When I came, to, I, I, I looked 
Literally. That's why I don't take no credit. I looked and saw him. Because we, we were in a situation where I wanted y'all. We was going to a church called World Revival. We were going to church four nights a week. You would think if from a Christian standpoint, that's gonna save you. Yeah. Well, yeah. You got it. Yeah. That ain't gonna save you. Come on. When 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 I met Pastor Dow, this is the number one thing that hit me in the face. Truth. Come on. Mm -hmm. I said, he ain't doing nothing special. He just speaking Straight pure up. truth. <laughs> Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. See, that, that's what saved lives. Remember, the, 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 he always used to say this on the videos. He's always say that, he's always say John 8, 32. Yes, sir. And he's always saying the first thing you need free is your mind. I mean, that used to mind. ring so much because now you're unlocking the sons of Yah. Come on. When your mind gets come on. who are these people? Come on. Who, are, who is this? Come on. Who is that brother? Yeah. Who is this? That's just a fact. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's just a fact. Oh, we are sons of Yah. Yah is going to, he already equipped us. Like Shaul said, he already killed, he, he gave to every man according to his measure. All of us have a measure in Yah. If we would just worship him with all our hearts, all our might and all our soul, then we would run fully in that. And mm. it's just, again, it go back to Shepherd. He started running in. I just ate. I ate off of that fruit. Come on. I'm done. Come on. You <laughs> man, come on, man. Hey. Man. You see, one one thing that and, and I'm gonna tell you, as you were speaking, as you were speaking, Pastor, I'm sitting there listening to you, and I'm battling. I'm battling in my mind on who in the world I'm going to call to next at this table. Because I heard you say a word, men who have dedicated themselves. Mm. And I'm just sitting here like, I'm like, man, all right, I, I, I'm going to go to the other roof. And then I'm like, hell, the Mitchell, man, he, yeah. that man is dedicated. Then I'm like, wait a all minute. Man. I'm like, mm -hmm. All Deacon Bill, man, he'd have been around this thing a long time. This man has dedicated. I don't know who I'm going to go to. <laughs> All right, I'm picking somebody random. I'm going super random right now, too. Mag Bro, McNabb, I just named three. Who I'm picking? <laughs> who I'm picking the one that, that I can say that I, na I named three? Help me out, man. Ten you got to go Deacon Bell. Deacon Bell. All right, hallelujah. Deacon Bell. Ten I heard him say the word dedication. Do I need to move it? Okay. I heard the word dedication. Well, hallelujah, bro. Hey, let's go. <laughs> hey, this is this is rare. This I don't look. Look, y'all. Look. Hey, before we get started. Yes, sir. The people don't understand that type of brotherhood. Ooh. Come on. Come on. There was no contract. No verbal. We just with y'all. Yes, mm. Are you here? Yes, sir. Mm. Hold on, Chef. Time out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Chef, time out. <laughs> you mean to tell me, Deacon Bell, these bro these men, they done been around you for all these years. There was never nothing signed. Deacon Bell probably been with me at least 25 years. Mm. At least 20 years. <laughs> There was nothing signed. Listen, there was nothing signed. There was no community. There was no straightway. There was no nothing. Only thing it was, he found out some way about us. He can t speak to that. About the ministry. Uh, next thing you know, we end up in the basement. I remember him working at a steakhouse or something like that. And he was, you know, always had a good heart. Wanted to help people. I told him, you need to stop that nonsense. Oh, yeah. This is what you need to be yeah, doing right, right here. Wow. And 100% plus nothing. Plus mm. nothing. So when his wife, Ashley Bell, speaking on Sister Sister's broadcast, she's not adding no jelly, mm -hmm. no jelly, no um, uh, condiments or none of that stuff. She flat out tell the truth. Mm -hmm. And I, he'll tell you, a brother, I'm not old enough to be his father. I'm old enough to be his brother. Mm -hmm. uh, he followed me, mm -hmm. but he has followed me every single step of the way. Plus Come on. Nothing. Never wavered, never oh, looked to the left or to the right. And not only that, we've been blessed, but his house is blessed. Come oh, on. Oh. Come on. Oh, Y'all yeah. 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 
I, I hope I hope y'all hear this because at the end of the day, notice what he said. He's never wavered. Never. But for this man to be around a true man of God in this generation, we know as we as every faithful brother has done. Keyword: every faithful brother has done. He has given all. Twenty plus years done giving all. Never wavered. But guess what? He's also saw my strength. Man, come on. Come on. And my weaknesses. That's yes, it. sir. Come on. I've been right, and I have been wrong. Come on. Come on, man. He's seen everything and still got the testimony. I'm here. Oh. Man, hey. Oh, man. Hey, y'all better get used to it. Cause there's gonna be a whole lot of praising and hand clapping tonight. <laughs> Y'all better get used to it. Hey, this is a this is a honor. This is a honor. Pastor Dow said his wife with Sister to Sister broadcast. Here he go the plug. You know how they do the plug, but they do it better than me. I'm about to plug this. Sister to Sister broadcast every fifth day evening, 7 p.m. Eastern time, 6 p.m. Central time. Y'all need to check it out. For real. But without further ado, I don't want to make no <laughs> grand answers, but for real, y'all need to hear, man. Deacon Bell. Hallelujah. Deacon yeah. Bell. Hallelujah. You know, we were following pastor this morning, leaving, leaving the land to come up here to the Straightway Goshen. And uh, my son says to me, we, we, when we're getting closer, I guess as we're leaving Kentucky, I'm not sure, some of the signs said Florida or something, a place, Florida or something. But anyway, and, and my son, oldest son, Zephyr, says, are we going to follow pastor? We, we follow pastor to Florida or wherever? I said, and I said to him, I said, son, I'll follow pastor anyway. Come on. I said, because <laughs> men, men will follow a good lead. If Pastor Dollar's a good leader, I will follow Pastor Dollar to the ends of the earth. Right, Come on. Right, right, right. Right. I might be scared, whatever. I'll deal with my heart. <laughs> but I'm going to keep on following. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> and I, I'll tell y'all. I'll tell y'all, when we came with this deliverance, when this pastor started preaching to us deliverance, you know, he, he started playing like wind world is preaching and stuff. You hear them demons screaming and stuff. I'm like, holy crap. This stuff, you know, my heart is... It, it, it's like, oh, crap, you know, I'm terrified. It's because, mm. you know, that's something that, that's new. I mean, Pastor, you know, when we used to preach about the Holy Spirit and the different things, he started preaching that. Oh, God, you know, I mean, Jesus, help me. I, I don't know about this, but yet at the same time, I believe him. But now I'm, you know, far, I'm seeing through the glass darkly. I, the pastor's saying that I'm going to believe him. I trust him. I know he knows Jesus. This, this is what, Man, this is what I, I know our spirits need. In spite of my own, spirit, my own self, misgivings, fears, whatever. The, the doubts and the, the devil speaking to my mind. I, look, I'm, I'm following this man straight on through. I don't Child care. Man. I love him. I trust him. I, I know he's a man of y'all. I love y'all. I know y'all sent me to him, so I'm going to follow him. And um, mm. where, where, where I came, where came across pastors through you know, another minister, that, that R.G. Stare guy. But y'all took me to hook up with him to get baptized by him. And so that's all, you know, I met pastor, and I've been with him ever since. I'm going to trust him wholeheartedly, implicitly. I, just, you name it, I, if I could have the words for it, I'd say it, but <laughs> my heart is for my, my past. Come on. I'm with him. I know he's for me. I wouldn't even have a house if it wasn't for him. Cause he, man, come on. He, he, um, yeah, he, my, my wife's mother came to the ministry first. Then, you know, then they take the right. pastor to meet her. Mm -hmm. He preached to her. And they, she follows him. She loves pastor. He's her father. Sure he's, he's her father. Mm. And um, then they, 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 their father used that to bring me a wife. And now I got a house. Of course, pastor laid hands on her to help conceive. And I have to be beautiful sons. Man, come so on, man. man. Proof. Hallelujah. Proof. 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 Hallelujah. So, so if you want to be dedicated, committed, I mean, the fruit speaks for itself. Come on, I mean, man. Proof. Proof. I know many people will come against this ministry, say whatever you want to say. Say that man's a devil, Elder Rufus a devil, you a devil, he, all of us <laughs> devil. But the fruit speaks for itself. You cannot deny the fruit. Jesus come on. said by the fruit, you, you shall, shall know, know them. Come on. Bottom line, say what you want to say. But the word is true. Come on, Deacon Bell. 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 Come on, Deacon and like Pastor we brought up Brother Kabir's father, like, like not, you know, mm. and he even came on honor Pastor and gave him a hug or something when he came, Pastor came to his house. That's game recognizing game. That's a man. That's a man. No, he don't even know Pastor, but he knows that's a man of y'all. Even him being a Muslim came out and honored the man of y'all. So all I can say is, I mean, 
you know, being in this thing, being a brother that's committed from the beginning till the king come. Mm. Ain't, ain't no end till the king come. We, you know, we, we in this till the king come. If I die, I would pass until I die. I don't no, give a what no. happened. I seen the highs, lows. He seen my highs and lows, weak strengths, weaknesses. But yet we still love one another. Mm. The Do brother loves us at all, at all to times. Till the end. And I'm, and I'm, you know, just that's with it. it until the end. Till, till Jesus come. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, man. So, <laughs> there were so many things said. I, I, it's two things I really want to point out. One, he said fruit. Because there was one thing he said in that if he didn't catch. He said, the man of y'all lay hands on my wife That's right. to conceive. That's right. And he said, now I have three beautiful children. Here's my question. That's key. How many of the people that you have in your life that is leading you are connected with the Most High Yah that can do that in His name, not taking no credit for it, Come on. but only glorifying the King, yeah. and then you get the same result. Oh, well, you know, it's not a... Yes, it is. Yes, it Come is. On. Come on. Come yes, on. it is. Because we know one thing. I don't care what this world has taught you, women. You are all born with something. And then when you're born with them, you're born with this. Um, I wish I could meet a man. I wish I could meet somebody that's going to take care of me, that's going to protect me, that's going to provide for me, all of this. And then, what's the next thing? And this stuff happens for little girls. They say, I wish I could have a baby. Now, that ain't the truth. Yeah, it is. Because guess what? All y'all play with Bobbies at the age of five. And y'all all cradled them and cuddled them and combed their hair. And they did all of this. You all wished for babies. But what happens when you get older and then you realize, dang, I'm really struggling with this. And then you go to a doctor and he tells you it's not possible for you. Mm. And you do all these alternative things and it never can happen. But then you meet a real man of y'all. For the few of y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For the few of y'all. Just willing to humble yourself because that's the key. You got to be willing to humble yourself. What, Hannah, what happened to Hannah? Same thing. She sat around. She saw her sister wife. Uh-oh. Sister wife. Oh, 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 man. Just, just keep it vanilla. Just keep it vanilla. They don't get it. She don't saw get it. her having a seed. And she couldn't have the boy. She do. She humbled herself. There it is. She cried out to the father. There it and is. she made the father a promise. There it is. She said, the minute that happens, I'm going to take him. I'm going to take him straight to the temple, to the straight. priest. Yeah. And, and then she kept that commitment. Yes. And what ended up happening Dedicated. from there? Here. Dedicated him right there. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, as soon as she was done weaning him, gave she gave him up. Straight old. And all of a sudden, you mean to tell me you get the prophet Samuel, who the who the word said that the most high didn't cause one of his words to hit the ground. That's it. Yes. Come on, man. That came from that. That came from that. It came from how? Come on. Ow. People feared when he came. Because they knew they were gonna hear one of two things. You're doing good or you're doing bad. Period. The most high gonna bless you, you're getting ready to get judged. Yes. And they knew it was coming to pass. Period. At that point. So, again, all y'all that say, I believe in Jesus. I believe in Yeshua. I believe in Yahweh Shah. I believe in all these stuff you Come say. On. At the end of the day, where is the fruit? Where is the fruit? Where is the fruit? That's not a key word. Fruit. Fruit. That's it. Here's something else I heard Deacon just say. Something else I heard Deacon just say was, I'll follow this man wherever he go. I'll follow him to the ends of this earth. He said, if I die, I'm going to die following the man. Uh-oh. That's a whole nother thing. You know who that's a thing for? You prideful niggas. That's it. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. no, that's real talk. That's real talk. That's who it is. <laughs> no, it's for y'all. Mm -hmm. I ain't following nobody. You're going to get real talk from this generation. Straight that's real up. talk. Just straight up real talk. I ain't following nobody. Come on, nigga. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do me. I'm a, they got a song. They used to say, I'm going to do me. I'm going to do me. I ain't, I'm doing me. I'm, I ain't following no man. I ain't doing this. I'm, I'm going to do it all by myself. Oh, self-made. 
and all of this yeah, we hear mess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what about you ones that say you believe in Messiah, but you don't want to follow nobody? What about you Hebrews who walk around saying, the Most High speaks to me. I don't need to follow no man and all that prideful mess. Because I'm telling you, and then in this generation, I don't care who you affiliate yourself with. This, the, the spirit of Leviathan is so tough. Yeah, it is. Come on. In this generation, Come on. and we getting ready to get to that too. It's on a whole nother level. You but know, one thing deep. The more that man talk, mm -hmm. scriptures just keep piling up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. I'm about to explode over here. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to pass it over there. I'm getting ready to pass it. I don't even know Pastor. how much I can hold. Pastor. I'm seeing you hold, but I'm seeing elders shaking. Uh, I'm looking at the elders shaking. I'm coming. Let's hey. rock it in. I'm coming over there to you, Elder. Chapter 11, yeah. verse 1. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hit this. We're going to rock and let's roll. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. Hey, man. He said he was Clarity following. To what he said. Come on. Come on, Dean. Be followers of me. Even as. As I also am of Messiah. Mm. You hear that? So even Apostle Shaul. Was saying back then, come on, be ye follows me, even as I am also a what Messiah. Messiah, he knew his position, Do he know. knew who he was, yeah, he on. wasn't playing the game. Same guy on the Damascus road, is on. that right? Yes, sir. I heard heritage, right? Ooh. Tonight, mm -hmm. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Come Let's on with it. it, brother. Shh. Read, come on, yes, and do it with passion. Come too. on, come on, and thou, mm. even thyself. Shall do shall what? Discontinue from thine heritage Woo! that I gave thee. Mm. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Man, come on. For that, have, keep going, keep going. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. Man, that come on. Ooh, that time right now, there was prophecy then. This time it's over now. Mm. Mm. We are the children of the kingdom. That's right. The king. Is that right? Yes. Matthew yeah. 10, verse 8. Come on Man, with Come it. on, Shep. Heal the sick, cleanse the leper, come on, raise the dead. Oh, do what? Pass oh. out the hit. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Heal the sick and do what? Cleanse the leper and do what? Raise the dead and do what? Cast out devils. That is what real true Israelites do. Come on, yeah. Chef. Come on. Yeah. Enough with the mundane talking. Yeah. Let's get about our father's business. Business. Yeah. That's it. Oh, All right, the ass that out a little bit. <laughs> oh, man, come on. Come on, go back to Jeremiah 17, 4, please. Read that again. And thou, even thyself, yep. shall discontinue from thine heritage. Hey, we don't, you look at this generation, they don't even, we don't even know who we are. We, we, don't, we do. We, we do. don't. Yeah. We do. We do. They don't even know who they are. Yeah. Keep going. That heritage that I gave thee, uh -huh. and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies, in the land which thou knowest not. Uh, America. even though you've been in this land, you still don't know this land. America. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You still don't know America. That's Keep it. reading it. For you have kindled a fire in mine anger, uh -huh. which shall burn forever. Uh oh. Mm. But he said it's gonna burn forever. This is the prophet speaking. Yeah. This is the most I speak to the prophet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what the commandments say? That he was gonna show love. And compassion, yeah. and commitment what? unto the thousands oh, of them what? that love him and, do what? and keep oh, his right. commandments. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and shut to keep me what? Guard. Oh, that's it. So you do it with a passion, you do it with a vigor. Yeah. It's something in you that says, No, this is right. Yeah. I'm doing it this way. I'm gonna say yeah. this. We, had, we was having so many conversations that night. Ooh. Oh, Elder, Elder Rufus brought up something. You see, let me tell y'all something. You ain't talking to no men who is just out here on a corner begging or got baby mamas all over the place. Say no, it you again. talking to successful men on, say by the again. world standards. Say it again. You speaking to men who was doing what they got to do. Ooh. I just sat and listened to my elder say, I remember when I bought my first house, I saw it today. 30-year mm. mortgages, he paid it off in three years. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, he ain't yeah. talking to no foolish men. But this man turned around and what did he do? He said, you know what? I see fruit. I see a real man. I'm going to follow him. Mm 
Elder, you were speaking about this at the table tonight. Mm -hmm. And I seen Elder over there just itch. Elder just be rocking. Because it's, oh, it's rock. so it's rock. <laughs> he rock. Because there's so All much the wisdom there. There's so much wisdom there. Elder, you heard. You was a, success, a successful man by the world standards. But all of a sudden, you heard something. And it caused you to, as Pastor always say, impoverish yourself. Um, um, um. Speak on. Come on, Elder. Yeah. He, uh, most I wasn't messing around. He showed mm -hmm. up. And um, I had my Jacob moment. Mm -hmm. I mean, believe me, I talk about it and I tell people I wouldn't advise nobody to do what I did. Mm -hmm. You know, I was so tired of Christianity. I was so tired. And it's sad. I'm tired of Christianity, but I already know I'm not no Christian. I'm telling people in the Christian church, I ain't no Christian. Don't call me that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the time. You see what I'm saying? And I'm hurt because all I'm seeing is, you know what I mean, moving. I'm hurt because all I'm seeing is stupid and foolishness and all this stuff that I can tell wasn't true. Just can't take it no it more. Couldn't. And I told the father, I was in my living room floor. I was on my knees and I said, you're going to literally show me your truth today or you're going to kill me. Mm. Flat out. And I called him everything up under the sun. <laughs> Boy, I'm just being real. I did. But that's out of all deals. I'm telling you, I was trying to provoke him to either tell me his truth or to kill me. I did not want to be here with all this fake crap no more. Because I just felt like all the work that I'm doing, I'm putting it in a bag with holes. Nobody appreciates. Nobody loves. Nobody sacrifices. Mm. And once I got to the point where y'all said, okay, and he started talking to me, he said, oh, he's serious. Oh, he said, I'm like, he said, he's serious. And he told me, keep my commandments. Come on. Man, I'm in the Christian church. I don't even know what a commandment is at, y'all. <laughs> I do. I do. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. I said to him, where they at? <laughs> I did. I said, where they at? He showed me, told me exactly what it was. I went and read them. And I'll never forget it. I got to verse 8. And the words just became like every, every letter looked this big. And everything slowed down. And I would go 8, 9, 10, 11. He said, go back, verse 8. 8, 9, 10, go back. Let me do it 40 times. I said, okay. I get it. This is your most important one. Mm. That, wow. You know, the fourth eight. command, right? And I'm like, okay, this is your most important one. This can't be it. What else? He said, turn to Revelation 18, 4. Yeah. And I knew instantly what he said. We already know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come out of her, my people. Then I take it to their play. I knew instantly what he said. Right there. And then. The first thing I did, I got on my cell phone. I called my boss. Because I was a finance manager at a car dealership. I said, I ain't coming. Click. Oh, you making oh, I'm six making figures. You, you double mean, six figures. Yeah, I'm making good. Make money. Oh, yeah. yeah. I said, I ain't coming. On the phone up. It's Friday night. Y'all. It's the Shabbat. I'm doing this. Don't know it's Shabbat. Mm. Doing it on Friday night. Mm -hmm. Then I called my pastor at the little church. I said, where are you going to be at tomorrow night when the sun goes down? Mm -hmm. He said, uh, I got to take my wife to dinner, but we'll be home. But I could meet me at church. Already knew the job, the church, all of it was over. Wow. And from that point, Yah sent me out. Three years looking for him. Okay. Looking for him. Oh, man. I knew in my heart there is a man of Yah. Right? I said, I know there's a man of Yah and there's a people of Yah. I said, now, it probably won't be in America because. We too selfish. There's not a man that's selfless enough that I've ever seen here that'll do it. So I'm literally thinking he finna send me to Africa, Australia. I was willing to go wherever he wanted me to go. But for, oh excuse me, three years, all I did was drive wherever y'all told me to drive. And a year and a half in my journey, that's when Mother Jennifer came. So she was there for the second half of that three years. So Shandre, she was there for the second half of that. But once he told me about straight lane, I went, saw Pastor Dow, and I knew then. I was like, this is the man of y'all. And I've been with him ever since, faithful.
faithful. Yeah, I don't have to tell folk I ain't going nowhere. I'll show them. Yep. Come on. I don't have to tell people I'm going to follow you to the ends of the earth. I'm going to show them. Because most of y'all know you don't see him out there nowhere without me. Come on. Right here next to him. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. The only time I'm not is when he say, hell, you need to stay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He know that that's the only time I'm not. I didn't sacrifice. I didn't turn over my whole entire life to get his truth, not to live it. <laughs> and then end up going to a living burning hell. He just yes. said something there. Do and then what we always cool. said, this is the own wisdom saying in ministry. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that need to be said. Mm -hmm. Which is already understood. Come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I was so grateful when y'all brought me the straight way. Because I didn't think it existed in America. I really didn't. <clears throat> so, to see it and to meet a man on that level. And I always ask y'all these questions. All y'all brothers pretty much have heard me ask you this question. What do you do when you meet someone greater than yourself? And the answer is you just submit. That's it. You oh, submit. Come on, man. Hold, hold up, hold up. So instead of me telling them Don't that, forget, what I've been doing it's for over a decade them. is showing them how showing to submit them. and still be a man, though. Because I guarantee you, you, yeah, you can call me lap dog, you can call me all these man, names, but no, nobody questions me being a man. They can't do that. And I guarantee you, they won't come to my face and say, oh, hell. Yeah. Because there'd be a whole nother story. Hey. You know, we're talking about deliverance, right? Man, I, come on. Hey, we, we, <laughs> hey, we got, still need some. Hey. I still need some deliverance. Work, hey, There's some work, areas. Work. Hey, I still got some devils dealing with. But at the hey, end man. of the day, we're still men. I'm going to do, yes, with men, and I'm going to do what that book tells me. Y'all just read it. Paul himself said, yeah, you follow me. Come on. As, as, as. I follow the That's most it. high. I told Pastor again, I'm with you, man. I'm with you. Just don't I'm do it. Don't do a Solomon on. Mm -hmm. Don't get crazy and see now in the end. I'm still gonna honor you though, regardless. Mm -hmm. As long as you with y'all, I'm with you. It doesn't matter. Hallelujah. See, folk haven't been through, they haven't sacrificed. That three years, y'all, that's no job, no work. That's trusting y'all. That's faith. And see, Pastor was, Ooh, had to, Pastor was the one that had to tell me on this. Ooh. I leaped out. I read 18.4. I did. Mm. And I knew exactly what it meant. So I leaped out. I got the pastor. I said, man, I can't have my name. And because he's like, what you got? What I'm getting? I'm nothing. I'm here. Mm. <laughs> and what I said? I had all of my worldly possessions in the Straight back of a up. 95 Lincoln Continental. Everything I own. Elder said, these book is homeless. Man, they need a place to stay. I said, no. Nah. I already knew where y'all at. That's my house. Mm. I knew that. But I scared crap out of somebody. Like, hey, this is this short. Hey, I'm available wherever you tell me to go. Well, you got to leave here. No problem. And he's not playing no game. Be, yeah, be back in two weeks. I came back in two weeks. He sure did. But at the end of the day, I didn't sacrifice all of that to get here and half do it. To get here and get in my feelings and give half of an effort to y'all. It's still to y'all first and foremost. <laughs> oh, man. He just gave me a great example That's it. to follow in what I do. I could have told Elder Ruby. Y'all, I tell you what, your black ass going to Timbuktu. He done went. He done I've been went. in Timbuktu. And I've been 100% support him. Mm -hmm. Period. One black. You know the reason why? I would not send him nowhere. I would not would be willing to go myself. Come on. That's it. It wasn't going to happen. Yeah. I evolved. It wasn't going to happen. What we need in this generation, I don't have to be. We need somebody else to be. Mm -hmm. I'll be more than happy to be. I'm like Rob, man, man. Let me get in the background. Let me, let me shit. I, I function better back there. But if y'all has equipped you with the wisdom, Come the on. knowledge, right. then the understanding to go forward, what is he gonna do? He gonna use the vessel that's in front of him. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes, it, it does. does. Mm -hmm. it does. Come on, D. man. The words say <laughs> to let the lips of another man praise you. So watch how fast we do this. Uh, everything that Elder Rufus just said by a show of hands, is it a fact? Double, Double fact. Double Two hands. Come on. <laughs> it's literally that. So what are you going to do? <laughs> One thing he said was faith. 
You see, y'all think y'all know what faith is. Mm -hmm. You don't know what faith is. Faith is giving up everything, man. Yeah. And, and again, people will say, well, it, it doesn't, I, I had a brother tell me one time, he said, man, I, I don't have to give up my family. I don't have to put this on the really? line. I said, I said really? I said, that's it. I said, but what if you call to do that? What if it's at that point you have to, what you gonna choose? Is all of them important over the king? Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen to everybody like it does on some, or on some level. I don't know. But what's in your heart? What's in your heart? Man, Pastor Corey, come on. You, I know you've been, you've been shaking too. This is not going to be long. I'm just, I'm eating off of what Elder Rufus said. Come See, th this is a, a thing. See, and it, it really steered from a conversation that Brother Elliot I mean, a, a comment that Brother Elliot had put up here. He said that Hebrew men are a unique creation of the Most High. Mm. Not, not time out. Elder said, "Watch this, because I'm getting ready to say something behind this, and this, this is this huge." Listen. He said he was looking for where this place was, where this particular thing you, you found something the word showed you you were looking for something yeah. first right mm -hmm. and you said it wasn't even in america but when you found it you was man enough to submit wholeheartedly mm. to it see see i think about this no you gotta man. think about this see that's what i'm saying as a man you at first you was a lost sheep and then at some point you learn how to stand up. Man, come on. And be strengthened because you know you around them that's unique. These are special men. All of these men was handpicked by the most high y'all. Everybody ain't gonna serve like us. We're here in this game, but you still handpicked by the most high y'all. He may be using you, he may be using you, or he may be using me. But he's still, you all of you are handpicked by the Most High y'all being predestined. That's it. Come on, dude. That's it. Come on, mm. Pastor, come you know, on. See, and, and it's the reason why I'm saying it, because I can look Marvelous. out. Marvelous. You know, I remember talking to Elder Rufus, you know, sitting in front of the old dining hall. Mm. Now, I remember sitting out there. Remember you sitting on the porch? Mm -hmm. I mean, you was talking, and, and you said something unique. You know, you, you, you was talking in the manner where there's a lot of people have come. But well, Yah is getting ready to send that 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 Hebrew that that we that they we ain't yet that start waking up and see now you look. So I'm looking at this after you said this. Mm -hmm. Because I can take that from you because I watched you follow. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody see some people talk, they want they want to hear yeah. themselves talk. Mm -hmm. And they start sharing a lot because you want somebody to follow you but really that ain't what make you follow people when you see people passion is for the most high y'all and they give up their life or whatever that means to make sure that the will of y'all get done so if you look out you see that this is the man of y'all that by demonstration i came because i'm i know i'm looking for yashua i'm looking for jesus christ yeah. Yeah. that's what i'm looking yeah. for Come on, Pastor. so when i came I looked it up and down, and I saw, and then I, I started watching everybody else. Who else is following Jesus? Because they following him. Who else is following Yahshua Hamashiach, the, the, the salvation of Yah? This is yeah. what's going to cause us to enter the gates. Yeah. See, right there, that take a different type of man. Not everybody going to flip your house up, upside down. So I was watching in that time, Elder, you know, teacher Eric, it was so many people that was, you know what? I'm getting ready to give everything to follow y'all because I know what he's saying is true. These, these, this was coming across on blog talk. This was coming across in Sabbath messages and it, it, you had to choose. Am I choosing? Y'all ain't choosing. You weren't choosing Pastor Dow. You weren't choosing Elder. Say it it was Come the, on. the word of life Say was getting again. preached Come and on. the Hebrew men who y'all had hand Come on, Pastor. was all here. Everybody else was filtering out because you, you wasn't the unique. You wasn't the, you wasn't the set apart. Remember, what did y'all say about us? He said, we are peculiar. Come on. People. See, these the peculiar generation. people know how to get in. See, because you start looking at all these different talents. And, and you start to see that these men is doing things that majority of the men in the world 
won't dare do. They not doing it. And then when you look, you start among these men, it's so much talent in this in these men right here. So when I look out, I say, I know y'all has strategically placed us because it's, it's so much that y'all has brought out of the world mm. and brought here. And, and it's all united in one thing. Submit yourself one ye mm. to another, man. So when you hear these men speak, when you, that's it. That's it. And so when you hear what Elder said, it's like that's the highest level of servitude. You know you love y'all yeah. when Come you on, serve man. the brethren. See that? Bless Ooh, you, man. Oh, that's so much, man. Bless you, Elder. Hey. When you ever seen us like this? That's a question I got. When have you ever, and I ain't saying us because you see us every week. I'm saying when have you ever seen us like this? Yeah, us, us. Come on. When you ever yeah. seen us like this? Mm -hmm. We span in a big ass factory. A whole, a yeah. real big. We talking about straightway Kentucky. Come on. East, we talking about straightway Kansas. We talking about straightway Georgia. Come on. Straightway Goshen. Straightway Tennessee. I mean, we we're, we're span. Mm -hmm. We are span. Mm -hmm. All over the world, Philippines, Australia. Come on. They end up off of us. That's mm -hmm. it. When have you seen us? And when I say us, by the natural sense, ones that look like you. When have you ever seen us like this? Consistently. Good you ain't point. seen us at Nam March. Yeah, come on, come on. You ain't seen us hooping and hollering. You ain't seen us screaming equality. Because remember, I said that the other day. Yeah. Equality, equality. Mm. That's cocky. Because I made the statement, I'm not looking for your equality because I'm better than you. That's oh, it. man, how could you say that? That's it, ain't it? The king said that. I didn't say that. I didn't write nothing in the book. I wrote nothing in the book. I just read it. And then he turned around and revealed who we really are. Key word, key two words. In him. That's it, in him. In him. Hallelujah. So at the end of the day, when have you ever seen us like this? And you're talking to men who have literally given all. But what do I mean by giving all? Um, deciding to come out from the world, no matter what the profession is. Deciding to live set apart. What is living set apart? Not just a Facebook emblem around your picture. But I'm talking about really living set apart, learning to do things that you were never taught, you know, like grow your own food, mm -hmm. learn to build some stuff. Learn the, the stuff that we learned, that we doing right here, we ain't know what to do. You see these unfinished doors, we don't know this. But we just willing to try because we so were taught. Um, we, 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 see, we see many of y'all doing it. We like, no, we, we want to do that. That's that's good job. Job. Okay, so for all of y'all that was out there that was saying, well, you know, that's an elder, you know, that's that's Elder Rufus, man. We'd have seen him for a long time around this ministry. We'd have, all that. What about elders that's around our age? Come on. Come on. What about elders that's around our age who was, again, by the world's standards, living a damn good life? Swing that mic over. <laughs> because, again, we're going to leave you, with, as Shep always says, without excuse. We're going to leave you without excuse. Because what happens? Talking, it's cut. Come on. It's cut. When he starts talking, it's cut. Because it's cut. Because it can't There's no excuse. There's no excuse. Come on, Elder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. Well, it's nice to be sitting here with y'all. Uh, it's, it's wonderful to be here in Goshen. Uh, I, told, I told all the brothers it's a good excuse to come. Come on. I've been looking for a reason. Or an excuse to come. We doing so much work out there. And so, no, no, no. I, literally, I look like this because I came, I was literally building, and I jumped in the car and just took off and came up. So, um, he jumped through too. No lie. So, uh, but to hit on first, I, I'll say this. Uh, learned, received, heard, and seen. Mm -hmm. Philippians 4. Just, I'm just going to throw it out there first. But what I will say is what you were just talking about, successful by the world sorts. Um, 
that's exactly what Pastor would come down. He came down to Houston when we, he first met myself and my brother. And literally, the first thing he told us was to, y'all need to get rid of this shit. Literally, first, one of the first things he said. Can I? Can I go ahead. Go ahead. He said, I need to get rid of this shit. You're talking about two young bastards. Yeah. Uh, living in the middle of down Houston. Yeah. In a townhouse. No, it was and a house. Affluent. Affluent community. Come on. Both of them got damn motorcycles. They got, they got, they got company vehicles. They got all yeah. the money in the world, and you, they got all these damn so-called quote-unquote sisters, sisters, so-called hanging off the ass. Uh -oh. Come on, which really let you tell the truth, hanging off the dime. Yeah, no, that's all it is. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. that's it. Come on, let's just get yeah. real. Yeah. Yeah. Come on with it. <laughs> That's the trailer. That's good. I said right now, number one, get rid of this shit right now. Yeah. Come on, yo. Hallelujah. So. I'm the five. Uh, no, but real talk. The, the idea was is to give it up. You see what I'm saying? We can't be loving the world and then loving the truth. We got to choose. Yeah, it is. And that's exactly what it had to be at that time. I was, we was one foot in, one foot out striving not looking I, I was different I wasn't asking y'all no, I was just seeking what I didn't know I ain't going front like you said I'm y'all age so are we y'all we just doing whatever I'm not I don't know I'm not looking for all I know is something's off we'll be straight up it's, I just know something's off all I know is I got all these vehicles I got this motorcycle I got this money I'm dating these women I'm doing this I'm doing that but I'm not happy I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy. Mind you, I'm not on the stats. I'm not no, no NFL player, no NBA. I ain't doing it. I'm just, a, yeah, I, I'm just, a, I, it, exactly. But that's what I'm saying. Young people you meet like that, that's 24 and younger and still making six figures. You see what I'm saying? You do what you want to do right now in life. Yeah. So what I, but what I'm showing folks is you, you don't have to be at because what they try to do is say, well, y'all got money. No, I was y'all right. You, you see what I'm saying? I, no, no, I was like y'all Rufus. We just regular guys I'd make it, but six figures. Mm -hmm. Give it all up. Mind you, we were willing to give it all That's up. It. All right, so let me go back to what I learned, what I received. And not only that, what I heard and seen, I do, right? So, literally gave it up. And I'm telling y'all right now, what, what sold me on coming this way was God's 2011. And pastor at this time was speaking, and he was saying the words, come check me out. Mm, y'all you know didn't hear that. I, he heard it. Uh, Rufus heard it. I heard it. He said, y'all come check me out. So, as Come check this dude out. So we we checking him out. And literally we sat around a campfire. I don't even remember who all was there. I know Elder Donnie was there. I know Dick Gorman was there at the yep. time and a few others. It wasn't too many. And somebody asked him a question. And he literally said, I don't know. I'm like, mm. I said, I could rock with this dude. I don't know how to answer I, that. I, I said, I could rock with this dude. Because cause, what did you hear when you was in Christianity? Would you hear when you was part of these different groups? Have they had an answer for everything, right? Mm -hmm. they, you, they just couldn't lead the conversation at, I don't know. So I'm, I'm going to continue on this. I kept, kept coming around, and I literally see this man's life is over. Over. How many people can truly say that? That their life is over? You know when you made that conscious decision to end your natural life, this life which you so-called built up. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you could get to the point where you abhor this life. I'm still talking about what I learned, received, heard, and seen. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm seeing coming this way. Mind you, I'm seeing other jokers out there not, not living like this. Teaching the Torah, Torah teachers, so-called priests, it, it, the, the list goes on and on. Mm. But coming this way, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, doing, and I want to get to something else. Deliverance. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, we, we're going right, to right, get right, into right, cool. I got a question. 
Come on. You, you just made a statement. You said you saw this man and his life was over. Literally. He's still sitting here right now. Yes. So people out there be like, what do you mean his life is over? Got please, you. Please, please. Go ahead, El. Got you. So what I saw was literally the book coming to life. I literally saw what I, what I hoped to see out there among other pastors, shepherds, preachers, whatever the case may be, I'm seeing it here. I'm actually seeing selfishness in me based on what he's doing in real life. I, I've literally made statements and literally he rebuts and I'm like, but he's, he has conviction in his words when he's rebutting me. I'll give you just a small example. I said, I'm about to stroll. I'm going to leave here with, with grandma. And I don't want to buy these. It's just this, this, whenever we come through. He said, no, nah, we're going to let people use them. I'm like, just kind of looked up like, no, you, you're right. But it took a little bit, right? Being a man of my word. Now, all this stuff I'm just picking up as I go because why? I don't have a military background. I, don't, I didn't have a father, per se, that was just there, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm learning how to be a man of my word, even being in this. He said he was going to come to the house last night. Well, you know, I had a lot on my mind. He said, you said you was going to come to the house last night. And I was like, well, you know, it was late. He said, you said you was going to come to the house. And I'm like, Period. yes, sir, you're right. I said I was going to come to the house last night. Regardless of the bullshit I had in my head and what I had going on, I said I was going to come to the house. So all these little, small lessons, selfless, being a selfless human being, caring for my brother, my sister, putting the cares of others before the cares of or, or, or my wants and desires. Mm -hmm. See, all this is what I'm learning in this. And to the point where now I don't, I, don't, I, I hate, I abhor, that, that, I abhor mm -hmm. the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I abhor that, that, that old man. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. that, old, that old way, that old living is the old man. And so not many of us abhor that old man. The old way. So this is what I see. He died to that shit. That's what I'm trying to say. He died to that old man. Literally, he's putting all these people before him. I thought, I'm going to tell you this. I had, I had an idea in my mind. Mind you, I'm a heathen. I'm coming to this thing. And I'm seeing him living in this block house. I'm looking at all these mobile homes. Broke down, busted. I'm like, man, I'm tripping. And up here. I'm tripping up here. I ain't saying nothing, but I'm tripping up here. By the third day, we go up to the top of the hill, and I see we painting his house. We paint Elder Becker's house. And I'm like, I'm over here looking like, feeling like an ass. Don't nobody know, because it's all within here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then to, this man right here and another one walked me to the back and said, hey, look at that trailer. I said, okay. Yeah, he lived in that for nine years. I said, and that? You see what I'm saying? I'm just seeing these things play out. Mm -hmm. Selfless. For the people. For Yah's sheep. When a righteous rule. People rejoice. The wicked, the people mourn. And I could see it even play out in my own life. I had to mature into being a leader. A mature, and my, I was good at leading men, but then to have to deal with women, children, families, total different beasts. But once again, I, I just go back to what I learned, received, heard, and seen. Hallelujah. I could talk all night, but because, because everything you just said leads into what, what we really wanted to talk about. But praise y'all. We got led in the direction we got led in. Because again, when you look at things in your life, and every man here can attest to those things. When you look at things in your life that you've been trying to get over, that you've been trying to deal with, that you can't understand. You may have, how many times have you been on your face? You've been crying out. I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to do this. I, I, I'm done with this. But then you find yourself doing the same things. And you're sitting there like, what is this? You see? Mm -hmm. yeah. But then when you start to understand as you're being taught, because that's the key, you got to be taught. The word said, how can he hear without a preacher? And how can he preach lest he be sent? So at the end of the day, when you start to be taught and you're like, okay, wait a minute. I don't have to accept these things that are coming to my mind. That's it. Because there's so, one of the biggest things I learned coming here was Satan's going to tempt you, but he's not going to tempt me in Pastor Dow's voice. There you go. He's not going to tempt me in oh. Brother Jonathan's voice. 
it's amazing how the temptation comes in your own voice. <laughs> and you go to second guess yourself and then you make a statement. When you know it's wicked, you make this statement, dang, I wish I could get this out of me. I wish I didn't think like this because you don't know that there's something being submitted to your mind. Yeah, that's it. But because we weren't taught what, what this book said for all of you Christians who think that Paul is yours mm. and not understanding that these thoughts need to be checked. They need to be checked at the door. So when these things and these temptations come to your mind, you need to be able to say, hold on, wait a minute. Where did this come from? It's not, and it's really, when you, when you really think about it, at the, the lowest common denominator is really simple. It's not of Yah. I know who it came from. Yeah. The question is, how do you deal with it? And we came to these conversations tonight talking about demons. Period. Period. And Shepard was sharing so many stories of over the years of some of the things that he has seen. You, Shep, you was talking about people's eyes turning black. When you come this way, you start learning about stuff on people's bloodlines mm -hmm. for years. I mean, we was doing deliverance on a sister mm -hmm. where the demon literally spoke and said, no, I've been in her family for years. Come on, Jesus. Come on. I, and I was sent here. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm around. like, what? <laughs> and we doing deliverance. And you sit up there talking about claiming ground. Come on. Yeah. What the hell are the Christians going to do then? Nothing. What your religion going to do then? What your philosophy going to do then? Come on, dude. And all of their theolo theological seminary, cemetery degrees and all this. But guess what? Just like I talked to the young man two weeks ago. And I told him, at the end of the day, Jesus said something. And the words that he said were so keen because it literally lays it to the line. He said that these signs shall. He didn't say maybe. These signs shall follow. What did it say, shall? Shall means will. Will. Follow them that what? Believe. And then the first thing he said was what? In my name. That's the key. That's it. In my name. They're going to do what? Because how many times, they're going to cast out demons. Because how many times people will be like, well, I said this in the name of Jesus. I asked for this in the name of Jesus. But you didn't ask according to nothing. You asked according to your lust. You asked according to what you and your flesh wanted. You didn't ask because you love your brother and you was willing to cry with him face down on that floor as he was crying with you and literally say, no, I want to see you set free as much as I see this wickedness in me and I want to be set free from it. You see what I'm saying? Come on, come on, come on. You see what I'm saying? Ooh, come on. So at the end of the day, when you sit there and you look at that, and then you're able to see your brother being set free, he said, you will cast out demons. Here's something that they don't never want to talk about. Sammy, go to Luke 14. Yes, sir, let's hear it. Every time you talk, Hey, hallelujah. Y'all something. Praise Yah. <laughs> Every time you talk. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. Luke Make sure 14, that mic is up. 30, 33. So likewise, so likewise, whosoever he be of you, of what? That forsaketh not all that he has. He can what? He cannot he be can my disciple. Not be my disciple. What is you? leave nothing. <laughs> That's the problem right there. That's it. Mm. Have you forsaken your belief, your theology, mm. your ideology, your family practice? Have you forsaken all of that for the kingdom? Mm. Because the book says, these signs mm. shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils. And they shall speak with new tongues. Come on. It's game over from that point. It's done. Either you're doing it or you're not. Either you're with us or you ain't. In the book. There's no in between. None. So what side are you on? Who are you with? Come on. Because I promise you this, we ain't playing no game. Satan knew from the beginning that the latter end was going to be greater than the former. 
We are literally in the restoration of all things before the king comes. Mm -hmm. This is it, Israel. This is it. This is it. Yes. We're here. Come on, yeah. right? This is it. This is it. Yeah, long. What? Yeah. I'm telling you straight up, this is it. We are here. This is it. We are it. Until the king comes. Hallelujah. Praise all praise. praise. Come on. Yeah. All praise. Yeah. All praise. Yeah. 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 He stopped. Yeah. I'll wait for it to keep going. Yeah. Hey, because at the end of the day, I mean, my thing is, is how many people, again, the pride, how many of us is willing, okay, because we see this a lot too. Man, I'm willing to help my brother. I'm, I'm going to do this. But what about when you know you wicked as hell, you need to sit your ass down. Luke 16. Come on. <laughs> Verse 15. Come on. And he said unto them. Come on. Ye are they which justify yourselves before men. Ooh. And that's what you do all the damn time with your philosophies and theology. Read. But y'all know if your hearts. He Come on. Your heart is wicked as I'm black as dark as shit. Come on. For that which is highly esteemed among men. Is what? Is an abomination. It is an abomination. In the sight of God. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Good Lord. Read on. The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached, and every man presseth into it. And it is easier for heaven and earth to pass. Then one tittle of the law to fail. Uh oh! Uh oh! Tittle of the law to fail. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It ain't never gonna fail. <laughs> Come on, Shelly. But your religion taught you. Then the law's done away. Then the law's done away when you didn't need to do it. Your religion told you you're not under that. Your religion told you it don't take all of that. Your religion told you a bunch of bullshit. At the end of the day, that is written in red letter in your Bible that's sitting on your nightstand that you refuse to open up and read. At the end of the day, look what it says. Look what it says. He said the law and the prophets were until John. Since the time that the kingdom of Yah is preached, and every man presses in, and it is easier for heaven and earth to pass. Okay, how many of you got loved ones? Y'all didn't say, y'all say some died, some this, but a lot of y'all say they passed. He turned around and he said it's easier for heaven and earth to pass. Then for what? One the law to pass. And you steady walking on heaven, and you can, I mean, walking on earth, and you can look up and see the firmament. You can see the heavens. That's it. And ain't none of it passed before your eyes, but you want to sit around and listen to religion mm. that tells you Come on, that you ain't got to do this, but the king said, um, my covenant I will not break. Yeah. And let not one word that's come off my lips. Man, Psalm come on. Let's go. Read it. Read, read. Oh, man. Come on. Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gracious, man. Hallelujah. It's so simple. It mm -hmm. is. Mm. My, my covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. What alter me? Yeah, That's y'all. Yep. Yep. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he's smoking over there. He is. <laughs> mm. Mm. Right. Get Matthew 10, verse 8. Mm. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead. Cast out devils. So where are you Christians doing any of this? Where are you damn false, phony, TC Taz wearing Israelites <laughs> doing any of this? Your people still bound. Depression. Depression. Obsession. You still got rejection. All of you can't deliver your people. Give them a word. Oh, you sent for his word to heal. Well, we going to give the word to heal. Hey, you mean to tell me? Mm. The thing that gets me all the time is, you mean to tell me, me? You mean to tell me, me? I remember one time, man, I, I remember I came home from, uh, it might have been the off season, I remember, but I remember I went to my mother's house. And I remember at the time, I was getting all these tattoos, all these damn shits on me. And I remember sitting in the tub because I was hurting. And I remember sitting at the tub at my mother's house. And my father came in there and he said to me, he said, Donnie, Donnie, I said, yeah. I said, why you keep 
marking up yourself, you know, you, mm-hmm. you know, if you mark up yourself, stop marking up yourself. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Dad, you know, you know. And he's just like, you, you don't need to do that. And I was like, all right, all right. And even with all of the foolishness, the women, they're getting drunk as hell, smoking. Come on, let's transparent. Come on. All of that shit. You mean to tell me, man, that he allowed me to read this and understand it, and it's simple to understand. Oh, I got some for Acts man. one eight. Acts one eight. Ooh. Acts one and verse eight. Listen. You shall receive power. You shall receive what? Power. power. Come on, one more time. Power. power. One more time. Power. power. After what? After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you. That's it. Come on. That is it. That's it. Then they got no power in these buildings. Power to overcome. That's it. Power to subdue. That's it. Mm. Power to be victorious. Victorious. Hallelujah. 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 But power after what? And you shall be witnesses upon me. Excuse but me. After the Holy Spirit after is come the upon what? you. The Holy Spirit is what? It's come upon, upon you. That's when the transformation takes place. Come on. Come on, Chef. Because Romans 8 1 says what? Mm. I'm sorry, Sam. I mean, I apologize. Okay. <laughs> Romans 8 1. Come on with it, brother. There is therefore now no condemnation. Yeah, no what? Buddy. No condemnation. Come, come on. on. To them which are Messiah Jesus. Come on. Come on. Who walk not after the flesh, come on. but after the Spirit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Romans 12, verse 1. Read. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Elohim, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice. To what? Holy, acceptable unto Yah. Which is what? Which is your reason. reasonable service. The, the sacrificial law is done away with. You're not supposed to do that. The sacrificial law. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Elohim, that you present your bodies what? A living sacrifice. Who wrong? Oh, my goodness, man. Come on. Come on. It's right there. Beautiful. It's, it's literally right there. Living sacrifice. So guess what? For all y'all to tell me, you're not under that. You're not under the sacrificial law like anything y'all ever said is extinct. Everything he said is new now. Brand new right now. So guess what? I'm going to offer a sacrifice of praise to the king. A sacrifice. Hallelujah. What you gonna do to man like us? What you gonna do to man like us? Yeah. Man, we sat here and anointed this land this morning at six o'clock in the morning. We went out here at 5.30 and anointed this land. Yes, sir. And, and again declared this place before the king that this is a refuge for the righteous. Then somebody ain't gonna be able to come here. So if you ain't righteous, you ain't coming here. And we poured all all over this land. What happened this morning? We just start running. It's cold. What was it? 20, 20 degrees? Yeah, at least. And we just start running this oh. morning. All over this land. Just start literally Run. running. Mm-hmm. Praising the king. That's Worshiping it. the king. Oh, and you mean to tell me yeah. we have the authority. Yeah. That we have the authority oh, in this man. day and age when you see all this wickedness out here. But you mean to tell me this small group of men man. that you see sitting in this building today, we can call on Shemaim. And we can say, Father, send your holy angels here. Send them here now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. We can call them here right now. All right. In Jesus' name. And they say, you mean to tell me just as I'm walking around on this dirt, slipping on the mud, they ain't slipping. They walk right next to me. They walk because I asked the king. Because guess what? How do I know? Well, you know, you can't see him. You can't do this. Um, Jesus said this. If you ask for anything yes, in my name, on. that shall I do. That's what he'll do. That's what he's going to do. And that's according to his will. According to his will. That's according to his will. 
right here on this land today, right here on every community, and right here on every single thing that this ministry touches. And it's been proof. I remember when the first time I came to Straightway, and I don't know who she was talking to, but I heard Mama Vicky say, she came out the house, and she said she looked towards the front gate. She seen something big as a mug sitting in the front gate, <laughs> walking back and forth in the front gate. Yeah, yeah. That's what she yeah. said. Oh yeah, that big ass angel. She said it was. She said it was huge. Just walking yeah. past and forth in the front yeah. gate. What type of security is that? Yeah. Come, Come on, on, man. Come on. Did you mean to tell me you can sit back at that? Yeah. Hey. You mean to tell me you can go? You, you can go back in your house after seeing that. You go back in your house and you can lay down. Thank you, just. And just go to sleep. Like nothing ever happened. Like nothing ever happened. He's gonna camp around. The, hey, he's gonna camp around the right. <laughs> you, can, you can't lose at that point. You mean to tell me you can bring the whole United States Army, but that was at the front door. That was at the front gate. Walking back and forth, sitting there looking like run up if you want. Run up if you want. You gonna see something. That's it. Man. Thank you, y'all. Pastor Corey, come on, man. Man, Goodness gracious. I mean, he, he, hey, you, you got it fired up. All I'm sitting here saying, Brother Daniel, is over and over my mind, this is not what people want. And you see oh, why y'all say a, only a remnant, only come on. a remnant is going to be saved. Because, see, we sitting here, man, I feel the fire, the yeah. anointing, the Holy Ooh. Spirit. I know everybody here want that same yeah, thing. That's These are the ones that's loving y'all, man. The world hate him. They hate him. Remember that. But the ones sitting here praising y'all is the ones that love him and do desire to Come see him in the gates. Man, that's why I'm just sitting here rejoicing with you. I hear your zeal. I hear your fire. I see the word going forth. The word is going forth. This ain't a bunch of just loose talk. The word is going forth. And men are rejoicing. In the word of y'all, man, it ain't nothing more beautiful than this. Ain't no club. It ain't nothing to do in a, a time such as this when you see the world has gone completely backwards. Backwards. The, the, the food and the administration and the drug, I want y'all to figure that out, want to submit. <laughs> they, they, they want to submit a petition to hide what they're doing with the deception and on for 55 years. But yet you got men right here rejoicing over the world, because we know all oh, that's going to pass away. You're going to see these men in the kingdom. We're going to be able to look each other in the eye. Come on. In the kingdom. And the Come on. And the lion of the hula going to roar from Zion. Because guess what? We were we were all the men in, in, in everybody's family that y'all ain't like. That's it. We, 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 we them men. Y'all ain't like none of us. We don't give a damn if you don't like none of us. At the end of the day, That's right. That's we, right. we don't care. Don't care. Then, I don't know what he on. I don't care what you think we on. Read it. I have given them my word. You have given them whose word? This, this is the Messiah speaking. Yes, sir. This is the Red. Yes, sir. He's speaking to the Father. He yes, said, I have given them That's it. His word. His word. Go ahead. And the world had hated them. And the world hated them. Time out. Come on. Time out. Okay. All the y'all that say y'all believe in Jesus. You mean to tell me? Put your punk ass. You come on. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on. Hey man, you mean to tell me? He said, "I have given them thy word, and the world hated them." Okay, so every man here can attest to him. The Most High revealed His secret. He revealed His covenant to each one of us. Come on. And we turn around and we started telling folk. Hey man, y'all gotta hear this. Y'all gotta listen, man. This is it. Just do what he's saying. And what happened? They hated us because they hated. it don't take that. You're reading in the Old Testament. I am because that's when I the first time I hear his literal breath speaking. And Yahweh said to Moshe, "Speak unto the children of Israel." Read. That's. His voice. Say it. And the Messiah turns around and says, I have given them thy word. And the world hated them. And the word was made flesh. Come on. Come on, man. And dwelt among us. Come on. Come on. Come on. And 
Go ahead, bro. I, because they're not of the world. Come on. Even as I am not of the world. Just like all y'all said, they different because we ain't of you. Come on. They don't want to hear because we're not of you. Look at this. Yeah, exactly. And they came around us right now. In Jesus' name. Because we prayed for it this morning. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, Mother Muir. In Jesus' name. So at the end of the day, look at what's happening. She there. Is she there? She there. She there. She there. She there. Acts 4 20. Come on. She there. Come on. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under what? heaven. What? There's none other. Name. There's none other. Name. There's none other. Name. There's none other. Name. So tired before this. You know how charged up I feel right now? Oh, wow. Make you want to run through and leap over the wall. Straight through this wall. <laughs> Straight through that wall right there. It ain't break this drywall. I know it. I know for a fact I get up right now, run through that. I'm gonna go through that. That's drywall. That's just drywall. I'm gonna go through that. No issues. Come on, man. Oh, man, come on. Jesus, At the end of the day, we got to end this, right? All we can say is this. Glory to the King! Glory! Glory to the King! Glory! All praise, all praise! All praise, all praise! To the Most High Yah! To the Most High Yah! We say glory to the King!